Then once he poisons our defender, we can move our Sir Scratch's ranged. Probably Freak Show, right? Or Roland? It's Roland. Makes sense. Move it, or I'll beat you bloody. So defender dies. So Koshe lives here. And we will just go man trap time. So the man trap will be a 12. Let's move this out of the way so we can spawn more guys. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll consume here. We'll move this Sir Scratch back here too. We have a ton of points, so if I'm right, and this is a, um, sal not Salamander, the other thing. If this is Golden Necker, we should be okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have a King of Beggars, because I checked the coins earlier. And they went down, I don't think they went back up. We can double check now. Yeah, see, they didn't go back up. Four provision fee, looking for, that's exactly what he's looking for. If he has Salamander, we could still be in trouble. Actually, we can just remove... Does he run Salamander? We can double thrive all these things. Let's give us another larva. Oh, well, we'll get the next larva this turn when we play this one. That was genius, I must say. We were going to win that anyway, but that, that was pretty funny. Uh... <laughs>So today we're going to visit a deck that got nerfed and I don't think is actually that bad and that's Sir Scratch a lot. Now the reason we're playing Sir Scratch a lot is because I was thinking about cards that don't see a lot of play. I thought of Siegfried, I was like you know what we can run Siegfried and Sir Scratch a lot. So that's where this idea came from because I was thinking playing Vipper and then I was thinking about Siegfried and I was like you know what we can play a better deck because I don't think we can win a game with Vipper but we'll try maybe. Uh, as far as this deck though, we are running the the, it's basically very, it's very similar to the old Sir Scratch Lot deck, so I won't go in too depth here. What we did change is we need a Purify Round 2. We need one Purify Round 2, because you're going to run your Sabbath back, the Cave Troll, Arrakis Queen, and Sir Scratch Lot. So you need the Peller. Peller will Purify the Sir Scratch Lot. It does slow down the point gain, which is fair, because the deck was too strong before. So we've got that, and then Round 3, you want to Witch your Sabbath back. The Arrakis Queen and the uh, Cave Troll will be banished because they'll have Doomed. So you'll get back three, three Sir scratch lots with your Witch's Sabbath. And then you play Seacreed and it purifies all of them and you can start replaying them. That's the idea. Now, it's risky to go for the three round play just because there's a lot of Squirrel banishing your Witch's Sabbath. So sometimes two rounds is probably safer. Uh, if they banish your Witch's Sabbath round two, you kind of have to 2-0 them or else you don't really have a good round three option. So that is a weakness of the deck. Uh, another thing that's weakness is Yurden. Because we ran into a couple of those. And yeah, uh, there spots that are kind of flexible here are you could... I did try running Caretaker. Because Caretaker is good with the multiple purifies. Um, Caretaker is nice if you end up getting more than one Sir Scratch round one or round two. Like they say they Heat Wave your Cave Troll. And then you get Arrakis Queen Sir Scratch lot Sir Scratch lot back round two. Um, from the Witch's Sabbath, then it's nice to have the Caretaker. But the 9 provision is kind of hard to fit. Um, I put in Roach instead because we want more thinning and consistency. And more round 1 tempo because we really want to win that round 1. But you could try out a Caretaker here if you want. Um, the other thing is... The maxi artifact compression slots here. These 10 provisions can be whatever you want. As long as they're not monsters units with 4 power or more. Because then your Witch's Sabbath doesn't work. But I went with the... I wanted a maxi. Because usually you run double cross in this deck. And then with Siegfried, I Siegfried and then Alyssa, I wasn't super convinced I wanted the Alzer's Double Cross in here. So we had a little bit less consistency. And I just went with the Artifact Compression Maxi. So I think uh, these are the two fives that I like running. You can run anything. You can run a verification if you want a way to get rid of a scenario in addition to Heat Wave. 
but you don't have any of your own artifacts, so it's not that great. And then artifact compression is just basically just spores with an upside, so. Well, upside if it's an enemy unit. But yeah, so this is the deck. It's pretty similar. You got Necker Drowner, Mantrap, Bruxa, all the typical stuff. And we're going to try this out because I don't think it's that bad. Our first opponent here is going to be Onslaught. So this will be interesting. We'll see if it's Renfree. I just say if it's Renfree because um, every time I start recording, all the decks change from whatever they normally are into Renfree decks. Like, I, this is the second time I tried recording this video. The last time I recorded this video, we played five Renfree players. And I don't think you want to see that. Let me know if you don't really care, but I'm pretty sure most people don't want to see just three Vampire Renfrees, a Renfree Onslaught, and then a Renfree's Gang King Fultus deck. But if you don't care, I'll put a, uh, next time I'll keep the video, but like, it just seemed like it'd be way too boring for most people to watch. As far as this game, we have everything we need, really. Artifact Compression, I think we'll put back. It's not the best here. Like Cave Drill, this guy's gonna have probably, well, he's probably gonna have ways to get rid of our stuff with the Onslaught. There's several ways you could do it, right? You keep more of our carve tear, double leader kills this, then the for scratch stuff's exposed. That's not the best way. You can set up croc. Croc kills off the Sir Scratch lot. Which is why um Nickers is handy to have in addition to Roach, because Nickers is lower, but that's not like a compelling enough reason to run Nickers. You can fit him in, but I think um it's kinda hard to fit him in because you have to cut artifact compression maxi. Okay, we got this. That's fine. Doesn't look like he's going to interfere with our setup. So then we will see how this goes. We will see how it goes. Eventually, once he's done with his turn. Alright, so we've got the Arrakis Queen. We'll roll the Cree out our... Is there scratch a lot? It'll take a damage, but... You can't hit this with anything. One thing to mention, by the way, is the deck has, for consistency, so Onomancy, Royal Decree, and Beatrice Butterflies to draw. So, it's actually not that bad if you go round, if you don't, like, if you don't get everything round one, because normally you'd run Arcane Tome, right, with Alyssa. Well, most of the time, at least, I used to run Arcane Tome. If you don't play Sir Scratchla every round, it's sort of okay, because if you're only, only going to go for two rounds because you think they've got a squirrel or something, then you don't have to worry about that being a problem. There's a great sword. That'll give him quite a bit of points. Honestly, wish we had a drowner in our hand, because like Necker, one of the Neckers dies, which is pretty annoying. But nothing we can do about that. Let's replay our scratch a lot. The Arrakis Queen. Trigger its death wish. Then kill it. You always kill this thing right away, just in case they somehow have a way to kill it. Then let's see, what do we want to do here? Necker's is Necker's not really a good card in this situation. Usually it's actually usually it's really good with the um Sir Scratch Lots, but since one of them dies, it's not that great. I'll just go Bruxa, maybe Mantrap. We'll see. We do have a good point lead, which is what we want to see here. We do need to draw our Witch's Sabbath still. It's part of the reason Arcane Tome's usually in these decks, but in order to fit Siegfried and... Well, in order to fit, like, really Siegfried, we didn't run the Arcane Tome, because so I went with the Maxi instead. He's another Rune Mage. So this looks like it's Renfree Onslaught. I'm sorry we have more Renfree decks, but... You know, I can only record so many games. Uh, here comes a Purify. That's really good for him. Probably exactly what he was looking for, so that's that's nice for him. We're gonna lose us her scratch a lot then. It's honestly probably the best card he could have gotten off of Rune Mage is a Purify, because now we're gonna lose her scratch a lot. We might even lose two, because he could leader one and then get the other one with something out of his hand. Ooh, 
Okay, we could lose. We want this to not hit us or scratch. Thank you. No, okay, we're fine then. If that hits or scratch, you'd kill it. But now they're gonna get kind of bigger. We could ranged man trap. Could also play Necker, but Necker is really slow just because it's one engine card. It's really slow. This gives us two, but then one's on this. Let's just play the Necker. It's really slow, but we don't need a whole bunch of tempo right now. We went to this row so they're not in an Igni range. They're at 19. Next turn we go with the man or the um orchard man trap. There's Burna. Okay, this could be annoying depending on where these hit. Hopefully it just hit Cave Troll's armor, but it's probably gonna hit something else. Okay, this isn't too bad. We just have his tempo. We do have to worry about Renfri, because this is most likely a Renfri deck at this point. I don't know I don't think you run Rude Mage otherwise. We'll use this to put out two more. We'll just put the Thrives on these, because they're smaller. It does give him, give him nice targets to kill, but I think we're pretty okay at this point. We are up by like 23. There's the referee saying, like, uh, we're just going to keep it this time, right? <laughs> we're just going to keep all the games. <laughs> Yesterday, like I said, the other day we tried to play... And we, all we got was Renfree. Which is so weird, because I don't play that many Renfree games anymore. I did right when the patch started, but then... Now I don't play that many, except every time I start to record, they're all Renfree decks. Which is... Really annoying, because... I can't keep all these boring games in these videos, otherwise people don't watch them. Like, I could look at the analytics for YouTube, now it just skips every game when it starts with Renfree. <laughs> uh, as soon as Renfree comes down, for, like, to see the title, they just skip over that game and go to the next one. This is really funny because usually it's always people watch the first game the most, then the second one, then the third one. But when the, then the second one's like Renfri, they like skip it and the third one's the next most watched, which is really weird. But I get it. I get it. But it's why part of it's one of the reasons why Renfri's so annoying to me more than other people because I have to like cut them out of the videos because people don't watch them that much. But yeah, we're just going to keep it this time. I, I, I mean. What are you going to do? This is the sixth Renfrew game I played in a row, even though they were a day apart. Uh, this is funny. It's kind of funny, but let's see what he's going to do here. Honestly, since it's Renfrew, he definitely has a squirrel. Which means that our Witch's Sabbath is probably getting banished. So we might go for a three round here, because the Renfrew will get him the round, right? Like Renfrew will get him round two, probably. And then... We've got a problem because Witch's Sabbath, this isn't good then. Uh, we don't actually have Witch's Sabbath, by the way, so this is kind of an irrelevant argument. But we will maxi and try and get that Witch's Sabbath here. We'll just play the, like I was thinking here, we we're going to play the two rounds anyway. Uh, we do definitely want to maxi. And we will get owner, we will get owner Mancy, which is good enough, I think. So we'll leave this here. Yeah, this is good enough here. I'm not a big fan of the situation in this game, because going to round 3 against this is honestly really scary, and usually you don't want to do it. Um, because when you do that, it, it open. they have so much removal onslaught that we're going to lose our cave troll probably to a some kind of... So what would it be? Maybe Junot's not great against it, and usually they have Junot, I'm not sure, but they can kill the... With onslaught particularly, they can kill your cave troll and then just hit the... Uh, so scratch a lot and kill them, which is not good. All right, so we want Witch's Sabbath, and we're gonna get Witch's Sabbath. Man trap will keep. We'll put back the Peller. 
Or we're gonna get Onermancy, I mean, to get the Witch's Sabbath when we redraw. So we'll put back the Peller. We have Siegfried instead. Alyssa's not good though, so we'll put that back as well. And then I think we will put back this Peller. Well, you know they're Peller, but. Kinda knew that was gonna happen. So we're going to open Witch's Sabbath. Hopefully he doesn't say. If he plays Croc, we have to Heat Wave it. Um, but we do have the Heat Wave, so we can do that. That's one thing we want to watch out for. Okay, there's Fakusha. What's he going to play with it? Just a long ship. We do have a Drowner. What are we going to bring back for him? He's going to get like 20 points from these on Gray Swords, by the way. Um, so, like, that's that's not ideal. But we're just going to have to work with it. So we're going to lose probably Acer Scratch a lot here to, like, purify dealing damage. Go Drowner this turn, move the boat, replay this, and then purify this next turn. Since this is round three, we actually should have kept Peller and not Siegfried. Because with Siegfried, it purifies everything. And that removes our defender. That's, Siegfried's really round three if you play round two. But we held on to him anyway. Because we're going to draw into like more Pellers. But he's moved it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to lose this guy. Alright, yeah, we did lose him. So we will go with our Drowner here. Move this long ship. Put this Sir Scratch lad up here. A little bit more out of the way. Hind Defender once again. We don't actually need any of the Purifies then, which is going to make these two pretty poor. But we can shuffle one back with Triss and get Necker probably. We'll shuffle back. Uh, Siegfried's better to keep for thriving, but Peller's better to keep because it doesn't remove our defender. But I think we'll keep the Siegfried, the Siegfried just because I think we can like last play him or something. We don't know. But, like our issue is that once he he's gonna have the boat, the ship, the one that does like seven damage. Okay, that's a lot of statuses. Good hitting hitting him is good. What are we going to draw with Triss? The best card's probably Necker, honestly. So I think we'll do that now. We'll put back this Peller. Draw our Necker. Replay this guy. Next turn we'll go in with the Koshe and see what we can get done there. We do have to watch it. Like, Renfrey's going to kill some stuff, which is annoying. We really want to at least get some of Koshe's value going before he does that. Can't do that anymore. Pay for my stolen birthright. He's got the destroy, so we're going to lose something good, unfortunately, here. He might just go with the defender kill, honestly. But it depends what else he gets with this. We got the eight damage. Okay, he did go for the defender kill. That makes it a lot safer to um, play this Koshe then. Let's see what he's got. Like, he might have a Mark for Card of Terror, but I don't think he has another unit that kills our Sir Scratch a lot. Like, maybe there's a Geralt card, but with Fakusha and Renfrey, it's so expensive. Not to mention, he's actually one with Rune Mage. I mean, that's not too bad that he's up there. We could actually trigger its Thrive with a Necker. That's kind of funny. It's going to go to 5. Uh, we could also Man Trap for the Double Thrive. Now. It's probably worth it to get as many Larvos as possible before stuff starts dying. So we will do this. Because he's probably going to kill our Koshe next turn. 
most likely with the Terror of the Seas. So it's better just to get more larvas from it before it dies. We can play a Snecker next turn or something. Yalmar is the way to kill it. Okay. Well, we knew it was going to die, but... Go with this guy. Yeah, with Yalmar. He's got Yalmar, Renfrey, Bakusha. He's actually running Hammond Yalmar for control, which means... And with the Rune Mage, that means it's very unlikely he has a Yurden or an Igni or something. Most likely he's got Heart of Terror, though. So that is something to be a little bit... Watch out for a little bit, at least. Because they'll make our Sir Scratch lot really poor. Although, to be fair, we do get last play on Sir Scratch, so that's nice. Any can join the Order's ranks, be they peasant, noble, or even witcher. He does have an Igni that's going to blow this up. Could have put this there, but then the Yurden... Well, I guess the, then the Yurden's not that bad, but like, he can't have an Igni. He's played too many provisions. He has the Heart of Terror. We always have Heart of Terror. And that'll be a GG. We'll just pass. Two nerf decks going at it. We come out on top. Blaze of Glory. This is interesting. This is usually Warriors. This is a potentially very scary matchup. If they're running Devotion, we should be good because they can't banish Witch's Sabbath. If they are not running Devotion, we've got a problem because uh, we well, the, the Blaze of Glory is going to kill our stuff. So that's annoying. Now, as far as our deck, we definitely don't need two Pallers here. We need Vester Scratch. We can get Arrakis Queen, but we'd like a way to we'd like Cave Troll or a way to get Cave Troll too. That would be ideal. That's a way to get Cave Troll. It does slow us down. So we'd prefer just to draw into it, but we didn't, so. I think here we will go with the Cave Troll, just because he's going to have so much control otherwise. Of all of these, we probably just put back the Peller, honestly, because we can draw the Peller round two, and we want Cave Troll. We only need one Peller for round two. And if we don't get the Pella round two, like, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so it's the raid deck. Not too surprising here. Like I said, these decks have so much control that it's going to be actually, actually rather difficult for us. We're going to have to play the three rounds here. And it also means he's probably not running Devotion. Which is scary. Now we need to own our Mancio Arrakis Queen. There she is. And against these raid decks, you want to do two round pressure anyway, because their stuff just gets better as the game goes on further. Not too shabby at all. Okay, yeah, he's going to pass here. So, we want to go in with Witch's Sabbath and then play Alyssa as fast as possible. And we want to draw a Peddler, but that's not too bad. That shouldn't be too difficult. There's two Peddlers. We have our owner Messi coming back. So, Alyssa, we just need one of those three in our hand. We'll be set. That being said, we didn't get any of them. I like holding on to man traps, but... Uh, does this deck play the long ship? We'll, we'll pretend it does. We're doing our drowner, so. He's played three units, which means we can actually which is Sabbath. And the best thing about this is it means he can't replay this um, Highland Warlord. So that's nice. You can't replay the Highland Warlord. It actually reduces his raid value quite a bit. Like, that's actually really good for us. Okay, well, he played that one, so. 
We don't have a Peller, and I really don't want to play Onermancy, because if we play the Onermancy, and then we don't get Alyssa, that's really, really bad, because we have to play Alyssa, and then, like, we have to play Alyssa round two, and then Onermancy the Witch's Sabbath back. So instead, we'll just play a Necker here. We're going to kind of go for a 2-0-ish sign. I think we might just go for a 2-0. Because these raids, they have a lot of control, but they don't have that much point slam. You might lose this. Not quite. Not dead yet. Just play a Drowner here. Kind of regretting putting that one Peller back. I figured we'd be able to draw into it. We needed Alyssa, Peller, or Royal Decree. And we got two Pellers, so it was really likely we got one of them. Here's the Blood Eagle. We can play a raid that kills our uh, guy. So we're going to lose our Sir Scratch here. Which is very annoying. You get three Sir Scratches back with our next Witch's Sabbath, though. How much more do we want to play in the round? I think a little bit more. Let's play another Drowner. You can play a Man Trap. We can also play our Koshe, because then we have a really good chance of it coming back with the Witch's Sabbath, which is really good. I'm actually thinking about that quite a bit here. We do, like he's, he's stronger round three, so I think we do want to do this. So we're going to have a Koshe and three Umter Scratch Lots in our graveyard. And that makes it pretty likely the Koshe comes back. And if we can force out the Blaze of Glory, that's really nice. We definitely want don't want to be facing that round three. And he can't kill it, so we win. Here's Vampires. Like I said, I'm just going to leave all the games in this time, because <laughs> if this is Vampire Renfrew, which is what I suspect it is, that typically is what we run into. That is very annoying, but we're going to have to deal with it because I'm not recording this video again. All right, so we've got Cave Troll. We don't have, we can get our um, Arrakis Queen with Triss Butterflies. It's better to just draw it. Squirrel's probably good here. Maybe this all seems good. We definitely want a Drowner for a Necarot. Otherwise you don't run um, Crystal Skull. That's for Necarot, really. Okay, we drew the Sir Scratch, so that's good. So like I said, we've got that Drowner for it, but first we have to set up our stuff. He will probably just purify this. Vampires have a lot of purify options. If it's Renfrey Vampires, he doesn't have as many, but we'll see. There's the Purify. Looks a lot like Renfrey Vampires right now. Like I said in that first game, the second I start recording, everything turns into Renfrey. It's kind of funny. It would be funny if it wasn't so annoying. There's a Triss to draw the Renfrey, or Regus, depending on which one he wants. Um, the, the nice thing with... Well, the good thing about um, the Renfrey Vampires is the only one of Renfrey's ability that got buffed, the Gluttony, is the one that's really good for Vampires. The one that boosts by base power. Because now you can play Regus and boost Regus by its base power with it. And it makes Regus and Leader like a 50-ish point play. So that is a finisher we can't have um, going off against us. Yeah. 
what I'm trying to say is if we don't get Regus out early, we can't beat the point slam it brings. Because it's like a 50 point play. For real. Which is kind of a problem. This is the most dangerous part of the game here, so we lose this round one here. Let's move this Nekarot. Hmm, what do we want to do here? There's a squirrel, so we're gonna lose Owner Mancy, right? Oh no, we lost her scratch. Oh, uh, that's fine. It probably means this is his one banish. If he's especially if he's run free. This is probably his one banish, which means our Witch's Sabbath is safe, which is good. For us. Very good for us. We don't have to win on even, by the way. I think we will Triss Butterflies here. Um, potentially for a Necker. Because we have everything else we want, except maybe Siegfried we could hold on to. Uh, we could also just go Man Trap and put out a couple of Thrives. It's not a terrible idea. It's probably a good idea, actually, yeah. They're nice to hold on to, but... We need the engine value, I think. He can pass here. But he won't, because he needs to win this round. There's a maxi from him. I think now we will go with our Triss Butterflies. It's nice to have this Peller. But... Like, it's nice to have the Peller, but I want the Neckers, I think. Or the second Man Trap, one of those two. Probably the second man trap, honestly. There's a second flutter. Okay, I don't know if we can beat two flutters. So here's the thing we can't play these cards we can only play archer and man trap so does that get us ahead it will thrive twice so that's one two three four points five six from scratch lot seven eight so we gain 14. that should be good enough he has to play another card so we'll play this i think we'll replay this first though and this will also consume bleeding on this There's the run free gang. Unfortunately, we can't afford to play any of these. So we'll have to give them the round here, which is really bad for us. Because now he gets to keep his Regus run free round three. And that's, like I said, that's like 50. So that's. If it's not a long round three, we're going to lose the game. Which means he's going to pressure this round. If he pressures, we have to play Witch's Sabbath. It's so, like, it's all just not gonna go very well there's the rune mage he's just gonna look for gluttony and then once he gets gluttony he'll just hold on to Regus finisher and there's nothing we can really do about that except heat wave it if we get last say so that's our best chance now uh, he has nothing row locked except this thing right he gets run freeze gang in this back so that's like maybe a maxi that's not too bad The worst possible case is he actually has a second squirrel. That's super unlikely, but that's the worst case scenario. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so what we want to do here is shuffle back our which is Sabbath quickly. But we also want to go with a Purify here. So we might Odormancy Peller. Let's just go with the Alyssa. Know that I was framed by Clara Larissa de Winter herself. Hopefully he keeps playing. Like if he goes to a if he gets last say, we're in a lot of trouble. Because I don't know how much we can deal with a 50 point Ragus. Then again, then again, then again, he might actually want to keep playing here. To like try and um, make sure that round is as short as possible. Okay, here's the run free. We've got this is the one he wants, the gluttony. He's gonna save that for Ragus. Uh, I think we'll Ornamancy our Peller here. I guess we need Siegfried for round three. We're gonna have to count on drawing well because we need Siegfried for round three. We need Witch's Sabbath, but we will do this. These do come back, and this is a big boost we get off of this, so hopefully we can get that card advantage. As we do get last say, we have a heat wave. We can heat wave the Regus, and that'll be really good. Okay, so we need to heat wave the Regus. We need heat wave for Regus, and we will ideally we get heat wave for Regus and get Witch's Sabbath again. But uh, we'll see. We want Witch's Sabbath, Siegfried, heat wave. That's not likely because we didn't play our maxi, but. Could be a uh, could be a worse situation. Okay, I would like at least one of those, please. Yeah, well, that that's it for this game then. <laughs> we didn't get any of it. Uh, that's kind of awkward. Let's just play this. This is why I used to run um, the arcane tome, but arcane tome became a problem because everyone's running heat wave and it lets them heat wave your stuff right after or remove it. When Ramfrey was around, it was much better. This is so bad. We'll let this guy get his win, though. And I'll just show, it'll just let you see the power of the Ragus here. With the Gluttony, which is what they always go for nowadays. Because this actually got buffed. The Curse of Gluttony got buffed. There's another one of these Alps. He's getting all of his bleeding value. Like any of these, we need one of these two, really. I think if we had Heat Wave even, we would win this. I mean, we can reset the boost on Regus with this, but that's not enough to win. There he is. But he's not that big. He actually had a really bad Regus this game. Of course, uh, they went on the bottom. See what his last card is. An Igni for two. See, if we had Heat Wave, we just win. Uh, we can reset this, but it won't be enough. Like I said, we needed Heat Wave or Witch's Sabbath. Either one wins the game. Onslaught again here. See what this is.
Uh, let's see, we got a drowner. We just want the one drowner, I think. As far as setting up, we actually don't have... Well, we can get Cave Troll with Triss. Uh, do we want to go for the Cave Troll is the question, because we could just go without it. No, if he, he's playing... Uh, with Onslaught, they have so much removal, I think we definitely want to actually get the Cave Troll here. Just because they have so much control that they can kill our Sir Scratches pretty easily. There's the long ship, but we don't have time to play the Drowner. Let's go Cave Troll. The last guy's Regus was actually really small. Surprised. It only got to 12. He was just like 20. And they got the passive from uh, the Renfrey as well. I get a feeling that all the Renfrey players just play against me, because apparently you guys don't play against any. Or most people don't. And to be fair, I don't play against that many. It's only when I start recording, which makes it super annoying. Hopefully this is just like um, Endless Voyage or something. Because I will be actually kind of getting annoyed if there's more. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm getting kind of tilted by this. Can we just stop having Renfrey everywhere? She had her patch. Of course, so did this deck, but can we just stop? Oh my goodness. I'll just, I'm just going to leave all these games and usually I'd cut the Renfrey games out, but like I said, it's the second time recording this video and like the 20th game I've played. So we're just going to leave everything in. And you guys can like see what, see what I experience on the ladder. And why, why Renfrey's so annoying to me. Because she's everywhere. And that'll be it. I won't complain about Renfrey anymore unless she gets really good RNG. Just want to say that it makes these videos super annoying to make, but it also reduces how long you guys watch him, but whatever. Let's go with it. We've got the Corsair coming in here. He's going to go for the RNG triple hit. Did not get it. It was so unlikely he gets that, but you never know. I've seen, I've seen crazier things. The best thing we can hope for here is that he uses his Squirrel early to, like, banish the Arrakis Queen. Instead, he's going to pass on us. It means he probably has Squirrel for which is Sabbath. Um, that's not good, obviously. We want our Alyssa then, so we can shuffle it back right away. And our Koshe, in case we want to go for 2-0. But we don't have any of that stuff. Compression's not great here. We don't need two Drowners. Do have a Heat Wave. We can go Decree into Alyssa, so that's not bad. Um, I think we'll just go with the setup then. How many cards are in his graveyard? How many units? So he gets, he gets this back, so we want to play ranged. I'll trigger this. We're going to Alyssa next turn with Decree. If he doesn't squirrel us. I kind of suspect we're getting squirreled though. Oh, he didn't have it. That's really good. I can do a great deal more for you. Nothing like some overseas plundering. Okay, so we're going to immediately Alyssa so we don't have that threat hanging over our head. In each of us dwells both chaos and order, good and evil. Next thing you know, we'll be pellering and then hopefully just um, actually get our Witch's Sabbath. We shall do it my way. Hey, what just happened? He played Burna? Okay. As long as they don't both hit this, we're fine. It's really unlikely to both hit it. It's what, like a 1 in 25? Really shouldn't worry about it. 4% chance, but... We'll see. Ooh, that was also a 25% chance. That feels bad for him, but actually he probably doesn't mind because this just gets it into much closer, much closer into like killable range. Party spirit, what need you to flee this world ever free?
I want him to leader, because once he leaders, we can play these Neckers, and they'll be really good. There's Croc. So Croc is our Heat Wave target this game. Because Croc's the biggest threat to our Sir scratch a -lots with these um, only unit decks with Run Free. Because if the Croc lives, you can just start playing stuff, and each one he plays will snipe a Sir Scratch, because it's always going to be the lowest once we Witch's Sabbath. And we'll bring it back with Witch's Sabbath, so we have to get rid of that. Since these two are on different power levels, we're actually kind of safe from a Igni. Yurden's going to be a different story, but... There's the Clash. It's not on any maps. Uh, let's see. We probably just go Neckers, right? Probably just play Necker. I think ideally we want to play like a six card round three where we go like which is sabbath siegfried koshe and then two man traps so i think we'll play this drowner and kind of see where we're at how much more we want to play the problem is we want renfrey's leader ability to be gone because once it's gone our which is Sabbath, like if it's not gone he can kill our um sir scratch a lots pretty quickly with a couple of the leader abilities from it and that's not great. There's the ship. I will just move that melee. Honestly, I think we might just play the man traps this round. Because if these get big enough, just replaying them and purifying with Siegfried is just kind of good enough for round three sometimes. It's like a plus 20-ish, which is really nice. There's Terror of the Sea. We're going to lose something. That's fine. Uh, this gives us more points. We do these things ranged. I think we'll do that. We'll go ranged here. This will also get stuff, hopefully, out of the Bloodthirst range for his Bjorn ability. I think we'll just play everything. Except Siegfried, because we need him for the round three, which is Sabbath, if we draw it. Like, drawing is not guaranteed. We need which is Sabbath or Owner Mancy out of our deck. Like, it's likely, but not guaranteed we get it. He's trying to set up Bloodthirst again. Pretty sure. So we'll go our second man trap here. We've got a lot of points here. He's going to need something really high tempo. Like, he played Fakusha. We need the run free. It's our goal. It's not it. Do we keep playing? Like, in almost any other scenario, we pass here and then Siegfried round three. But the problem is, run free will kill off all of our Sir Scratch a lots with either Wrath plus, like, several of the Renfrey abilities will just mess us up. It gets the 6 damage one in Wrath, we die. It, it's it's just too annoying to go up against. Like, it's too much of a problem. So we'll just waste our Siegfried here, because we can't actually win the round 3 if he still has Renfrey, because the damage is too scary. Any can join the Order's ranks, be they peasant, noble, or even Witcher. But anyway, if he has Renfrey, I think he wins this round. It's just not a great situation overall. All right, looks like he does not have the red free in his hand, so we win the game. I got Syndicate this time. Syndicate's interesting. Usually these are poison decks. We don't do the best for his poison decks because we can't lock down the Abominations, although Abomination did get a big nerf because the thing was crazy before. So in our hand, we actually are missing only Sir Scratch. Okay, this hand's actually really good then. Let's try and find 
Oh, there's a Triss. That gets us a kosher. Yeah, let's go with this. And we're going first, which is ideal. The reason this hand's so good is because Necker, we need to win round one usually, and Necker is a really, really strong card for doing that. If you've got Sir Scratch out. It's actually a really good engine then. And having both of them is good. Okay, see, like, here comes the poisons. We're going to lose our cave troll. Not much we can do about it, though. So Cave Troll dies, then we make our stuff. Yeah, there it is. The most common thing I see here is Golden Necker. So we'll see if that's what he has. He probably can't kill these both, which is why going first is such an advantage with this deck. Tunnel drill, eh? Um, so, I think we just heat wave tunnel drill. It's too much of a problem otherwise. Otherwise, we lose both our Sir Scratches this turn. We can't have that. I mean, we could, but we need to win this round one, so we can't have that. He still is potentially Freak Show, but playing... F I don't know if he has Freak Show. There's an Aguara. Um, we actually don't have a Purify in our hand right now. Normally we would, but what we can do about that. Hopefully he doesn't lock our second one or something. Second Sir Scratch. It's a really juicy freak show though if he has it. Best commodity in town, I swear it. Nothing you can make with this kills it. This is a really good poison target for him though. Man Trap will get us a lot of Thrive points. We can play Triss as well for a bit of Thriving, but I'm not sure what she would draw. I guess Koshe or like Alyssa or Maxi. Another Poison, here we go. Let's probably just play Drowner. Although if we're gonna Triss, we wanna Triss the Drowner back. Let's play Triss. I'll do what I can. And we want to draw. Um, I'm thinking it's either Koshe or Alyssa. Let's go Koshe. Boosting the Koshe is not the best because it's thriving as good, but since you have adrenaline, usually the Sir Scratches are big enough to trigger it. And Man Trap will still trigger it because the consume and we want to have it for round three so that's why we picked it and drowner doesn't really do anything here probably man trap next turn on the sir scratch and that double thrive coupled with the other sir scratches deploy should give us enough points unless he golden eckers which he could. He's not going to. These two being gone is really nice because those are the scary cards. Uh, the, oh, the only issue is they come back with Witch's Sabbath. So I'd like to squirrel at least one of them or else we're going to instantly lose some guys. 
Maxi's interesting. If we witches Sabbath them back, he still has to kill our defender, and he still has to put poisons on them again, which takes time. It does, it does take time. So I think we will Onomancy. Well, we can't. Here's the thing. If we Onomancy Witches Sabbath, we can't play it again. Which is sort of the problem with our hand right now. So basically, we're going for a two, a two round, that a two zero. If we do the owner mancy here for Witches Sabbath, I think I want to though. I don't think we win in round three against so many poisons, which is why we're going to go for this. If you guys Geller, it's really bad because we'll get poison machine gunned, but that's going to happen round two or three. I'm going to put it behind here, Roland probably. Do our purify. Body spirit, what needs you to free this world ever free? And these are big enough that they'll now trigger our koshe, which is good. Like we have a lot of potential value here, and when and Siegfried is good. Uh, we could purify. Is he gonna poison us? And we do have this purify. Um, but I'd like to wait, because I don't want to. I want him to have to poison our defender. Then once he poisons our defender, we can move our Sir Scratches ranged, and then start playing Orchard Man traps for the double thrives. Let's see though. If he just poison, he just poisons us and doesn't use it. We'll go with the Siegfried to remove him. Maybe we'll see. But he's definitely gonna kill our defender here. The question is how much else is he gonna kill us? It's probably Freak Show, right? Or Roland? It's Roland. Makes sense. Move it, or I'll beat you bloody. The defender dies. So Koshe lives here, and we will just go man trap time. So the man trap will be a 12. Let's move this out of the way so we can spawn more guys. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll consume here. We'll move this Sir Scratch back here too. Do one more man trap, and then this are scratches. We have a ton of points, so if I'm right, and this is a um, sal not salamander, the other thing. If this is golden necker, we should be okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have a king of beggars, because I checked the coins earlier. And they went down, I don't think they went back up. We can double check now. Yeah, see, they didn't go back up. Four provision fee, looking for... That's exactly what he's looking for. If he has Salamander, we could still be in trouble. Actually, we can just remove... Does he run Salamander? He's at one poison ready, so we can wait a turn for Siegfried. Let's play this. We can double thrive all these things. Give us another larva. Oh, well, we'll get the next larva this turn when we play this one.
That was genius, I must say. We were gonna win that anyway, but that that was pretty funny. Uh <laughs> Alright, so what do I think about the deck? I think it's still good, honestly. I think Sir Scratch is still good. Um, it's obviously worse because you have to play a Pella round two if you're going to do the, the play the Witch's Sabbath twice, and then you have to play the Siegfried on the second one. Um, this deck in particular is does not have the Arcane Tome. Arcane Tome is a really good card in here. And to, well, to fit it, I think you have to cut Roach because the Pellers. I mean, you could cut Artifact Depression Maxi. It's probably better than Maxi. Like, you probably want to run the Arcane Tome. The issue I have with Arcane Tome is once you Arcane Tome, and, well, I was going to say most people aren't playing Renfree, but they, most people aren't playing Renfree, I guess, but it, it's just me that runs into them. <laughs> but yeah, if you Arcane Tome, and then you give that, you give them the access of, it gives them the option of playing their Heat Wave from their deck on you, which is usually bad. Um, so that's usually not a great option. <laughs> Uh, it, it's okay though the card's still good it does give you your witches sabbath more consistently but usually with this deck i'm aiming to play two rounds like like one two long rounds anyway we don't necessarily need to play all three although playing all three is more fun so i went for it in the videos or in the video today like you don't always have to do that um the Ar the arcane tome also is really good if you have to draw your Alyssa round three and then like if you draw around three you you need owner mancy left or you can't get the witch's sabbath so realistically changes to the deck this should be an arcane tones arcane tome still i think and we need a four provision um either a special or a neutral unit so this can be anything um units are nice because they trigger thrive and big units trigger thrive more so this might be a like a unit here we're just trying to think of what i'd put in here Yeah, this could be any unit. There's some decent options here. Like, any of these are fine. Do you remove Doomed? No, you give Veil. Give Doomed and remove Doomed would have been interesting, because that would have helped quite a bit. But giving Doom is kind of cool, too. But... Yeah, so this will just be a unit. Uh, just while we're here, I'm going to throw in a card here. I'm just going to throw in the Kiki More Worker. Yeah, so I think this is probably a little bit better. Uh, this is nice to have the Kiki more Worker. This could be like any of them, really. Like the six power ones. Could be like a... Not Kiki more Worker, because it's a monster's card. That's why we're uh, fixing that. I was thinking Elder Bear is what we want to toss in here. This is going to be any of the monster's units that's less than four power or a neutral one. So I'm going to throw in an Elder Bear. Because, you know, one of these. Now, as far as um, the other other changes to the deck, I think Arcane Tom's good. Elder Bear, this could be a control card, like a four damage card. Units are nice. But other than that, I think the Siegfried, if you want to go just two rounds, like you don't want to play three rounds because you don't want to go through the experience of having your, which is Sabbath Squirreled or something, you can cut Siegfried and cut the uh, Alyssa. And then all you have to do is use a Pella round three, and you'll still have two uh, sort of scratch a lots. I'm not sure that's the best idea, but it is an idea you can go for it. Some In some matchups, I do do that anyway, but it's an option. Just having the Alyssa gives you so much more potential, I think, though. So, yeah, I something like this. And then as far as Roach Knickers type stuff, Roach and Knickers type stuff, you can still do that. So, Knickers is harder to fit. So, I think you could have trouble fitting more than one if you're running Heat Wave. You can cut the heat wave if you want, because it doesn't give you thrive stuff, and maybe Knickers' is thinning is more valuable to you. I actually like having access to heat wave, and yeah, it's I like having access to it. There's actually a fair thinking about it. Yeah, there's actually a fair bit of vampire Renfree or just vampire, although mostly it's vampire Renfree because of the gluttony buff. But yeah, there's a lot of it, and you, if you can heat wave Ragus, it's really good. But you can change this out for like Igneer or something too if you want. But yeah, this is the deck. I think mostly it's it's pretty set, right? The Roach slot you can change, the Arcane Tome Elder Bear slot you can change. But that's it for this one, guys. I, it's interesting. I still think the deck's good. I wanted to show it off because I thought it was still good. And it, 
is, but it's, it's more fair because you have to have more setup cards. And it's kind of fun playing Siegfried and stuff, so. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.